Hi guys, a while ago I made a video for you where I shared with you five habits that I noticed my very wealthy clients had. It was a great video with some really handy tips that, you know, whether you're rich or poor, everyone can apply and you'll quickly see the results. And I'll put the, in the link of that video in the description box. But this morning I was watching a motivational video on YouTube to help kickstart my Monday morning. And it talked about successful people achieving their goals and how they live their life with passion and vision and and purpose. And it said they don't actually have habits, but they more like have rituals and which are the right actions to take for them to get to where they want to be. Anyway, it got me thinking and it got me really motivated and really excited. And I thought it would be a good idea to make another video like those five habits, but new ones, but think about them more as five financial routines or rituals for you to have to help create more financial independence and security in your world. So here we go. So my number one ritual is every time you get a pay rise, whether it be from a promotion or from changing jobs, and there's you take the increase in your after-tax pay and do something amazing with that. So say for example, you're earning say $4,000 a month after tax, and your new job or promotion now means that you're going to be earning $4,500 per month after tax, you would do something really powerful with that $500 increase. So you'd use it towards paying off your debt sooner. You'd use it to increase your saving. You'd use it to increase your investing. You'd use it to put towards your retirement goals. But by doing this, what this does is it actually stops you from having your lifestyle increase with your pay rise. We never earn enough money. We're always on a rat race chasing our tail. Unless you can stop and consciously take that um, financial gift that the universe has given you through your hard work and do something with value, it's much harder to get ahead. Trying to tone down your lifestyle is really quite hard and I've really seen this with some of my clients. But if you can consciously take that pay rise and do something with it to your financial advantage, it will make a huge difference. And you don't necessarily need to take that whole pay rise and um, and invest it or do something with it. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to allow my lifestyle to increase a little bit. So therefore, of that $500 increase, I'm going to allocate, say, $200 to increase the quality of my food or buy more clothes or whatever your value system might be. And I'm going to use that uh, the $300 to further my financial future. The choice is yours, but it's about stopping and taking note and making conscious action with that pay rise. So ritual number two is about being conscious and taking more action with savings. So every time you get a discount or use a promotional code or a coupon code or get some sort of value from a loyalty program, consciously take that savings and put it towards something of benefit and value for your financial future. For example, the other day I had to book a flight to Melbourne to see some clients and they had a special offer where if I booked my flights that week, I got $50 off the airfare. Now I had to go to Melbourne anyway, so I had to buy that flight. So what I did was that $50 savings I put in the $1,000 project and that is going towards the investment portfolio for the Sugar Mama $1,000 project portfolio, which is bubbling away nicely. So by actually showing gratitude and appreciation for those savings that come our way and doing something for value with that has a profound impact over the long run. Ritual number three is not only to have a budget, but to review it regularly and check it against your calendar. Now, not every month is the same. We do have expenses. We do have friends and family members, birthdays and special holiday events that come up. So you need to not only check that you are sticking to your budget, spending what you think you spend, um, making sure that any new expenses are uh, documented in your budget, but also make sure that you're aware of upcoming expenses. Not every single month or fortnight is the same. Things also do catch us by surprise, but the more energy and focus that you put into managing your budget and reviewing it and regularly checking it against the calendar, the more it's going to work for you and the better control you're going to have in managing your cash flow, which will relieve so much stress and anxiety in your life. I promise. Ritual number four is more about a mindset. That is where you think about the positive emotional benefits of your action today. 
So you no longer think how miserable, boring and dull it is saving, but you focus on how proud you're going to feel, how empowered and in control you're going to be when you see those savings build up in your account or see your investment portfolio accumulate in value and those pa the passive income coming in. So you think about the, the power of your actions and how it is working and connecting with your long term goals and you feel a sense of accomplishment, success and achievement. And then ritual number five is paying for things in cash. Yes, you can use your ATM debit card, but as much as possible, try and pay for things in cold, hard cash. Sounds a little bit silly and sometimes it will be a bit of an inconvenience, but when you are actually handing over coins or notes and you see that exchange of what you're buying, you'll be a lot more present, a lot more switched on and really question the value of what you're doing. Now, for the last couple of weeks, I've made sure that I've been paying for all my coffees in cash and including also my muffins in cash. So what I have found is by doing that and seeing, you know, large notes get broken up and handing over all the coins that kind of made me feel a bit wealthy. Um, I have noticed I've stopped um, buying as many coffees and I've definitely stopped buying as many muffins. So I'm seeing the savings. My bank accounts are lasting a lot longer through my pay cycle because I'm not draining them as much. And I feel like I'm just a lot making a lot more responsible decisions um, with my cash flow during the week, which is a really nice feeling. So these are five new rituals for you to incorporate in your everyday life when it comes to managing your cash. Now, don't forget to watch that five financial habits video and I'll put that link in the description box below. But let me know what you think about this video. If you have any financial rituals that you think others should know about, including myself, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and feel free to share any of these videos with your family and friends who you think might benefit or need to hear this valuable information so they create a better life for themselves financially. I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Bye.